Well, hey, YouTube family, thanks for joining us today on Simple Homesteading. Now, today's video is going to be the second install of our hoop house. If you did not see our previous video, I'm gonna put a link below uh, in the description, or you can also wait to the very end and click on the little uh, subscreen to watch that video. You know that as we worked to put our half inch modified PVC pipe into three quarter inch receivers, that because of the sanding we did, uh, the structural integrity of the PVC just didn't work and it ended up snapping. So we are going to be doing this today. We are gonna be taking um, one inch receivers and we're gonna be putting the same holes in them that we did on the other ones. We're gonna be putting a hole in the top, a hole in the bottom. We're gonna be putting a larger hole on one side and uh, the smaller hole on the inside and then the same hole in the bottom all the way through. Uh, we're gonna be putting a long screw to uh, go all the way through in the bottom, uh, provide an open area on the bottom so water can flow out, but then a stop for the pole. And then the uh, other screw will go all the way through and just mount the far wall of the pipe to the box. And then our half inch pipes are going to go into uh, this. Uh, the uh, length of the half inch PVC that we use are gonna be cut to 100 inches and then be uh, uh, bent in an arc and put into uh, the receivers on both sides of the boxes. Now, the six foot 10 inch pipes, that half inch pipes that we cut earlier to go into the uh, old receivers and had sanded, um, those are going to form the inside uh, set of hoops that we're gonna to use to put row covers on. And then the, on the outside hoops, we're gonna be using uh, greenhouse plastic uh, to uh, hold in that heat and put uh, and keep the snow and the cold out and, and provide an aspect of warmth on the inside. And we're also gonna be using some um, 20 ounce, 16 ounce uh, water bottles and also some plastic milk jugs possibly uh, to collect uh, radiant solar heat during the day and then to give that heat off at night. Again, I know a large description this morning. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get in on it. We're gonna show you how we're doing this. And then um, hopefully at the end, you see how all this fits together. So again, stay with us as we work to build these hoops and this hoop system for our four by four, uh, four foot high raised beds. I think not four foot, two foot high raised beds. So again, thanks for joining us today. Uh, come along for the ride. All right, so here was here's what I was talking about. Um, I ended up taking our old three quarter inch receivers that we cannot use and ended up mounting them underneath the one inch receivers that will now hold the hoop that's gonna be coming over. 
what we're gonna be doing is pulling the greenhouse plastic down, and then I already have three quarter inch clips that will then use these clips, bring the greenhouse plastic over, and clip uh, the plastic down onto this receiver. That way, I didn't end up wasting these at all. So again, we'll show you what we're gonna do next once we get the hoops put in. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the original poles that we ended up bending um, for the outside hoop and we're going to use these on the inside. Uh, you can see where these are the ones I sanded, but again, that compromises the integrity and all they did was snap off. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run these in between these two side wood supports and put the inner hoop inside there that way as it works to spring itself back because material has a memory it'll push against this um, board and this board will help kind of keep it pushed in we'll see if we need any additional help uh, as far as support for that uh, but then lynn has already gone in and laid out our uh, small 20 ounce water bottles in order to um, end up collecting radiant heat now it's not a sunny day today uh, but uh, uh, it's it's going to work uh, to help collect what little solar uh, um, solar heat it can and then give that off at night. And so, again, we need to get a few more. I think we're going to have to go out and drink some more bottled water or collect some from friends, get those put all the way through here, and um, then get these inside hoops on. And then we're going to go ahead and put the outer uh, hoops, the higher hoop system, into these receivers, and we're going to be using those uh, old three-quarter receivers in order to snap the plastic on. If you can see, uh, our radish is already starting to come up. And then Lynn says there are also lettuce that's just starting to peek its head through. So the more that we can warm this box up to get the seed to germinate, once it germinates and starts growing, even though it might be slower uh, to grow during the winter, we'll at least be able to stay on top of it and hopefully harvest some uh, lettuce and radishes and carrots and things through our winter months. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get those hoops put up.
All right, so this is what we're attempting to do. If you see, we've ended up with a dead air space in here. We've got a radiant heat here, and we're gonna be clipping these on here. We're gonna have to piece together our plastic. Um, we could have went out and bought a roll that would have been long enough for everything, but it would have been almost 50 plus dollars, and we've got greenhouse plastic, so we're gonna use what we've got and see how it works. But uh, with that dead air space, we're hoping that between that and the row cover down here, that we'll be able to keep these plants nice and toasty. All right, friends, we think we have success. And so uh, I already showed you the, the air gap that was gonna be between the be between both the, uh, the row cover and the plastic. And so let me flip this camera around and we'll talk about some uh, things that we did to make this work. And then some of our concerns coming into the future, uh, especially when it comes to high winds and things. So let me go ahead and get this camera turned around. All right, first of all, we ended up taking some extra Tyvex tape that we had left over from when we uh, resided our house, and it was just sitting around. I know it's, it's expensive tape, but for what we're wanting to do, this actually would probably work really well. And so we pieced together our plastic uh, because we didn't have one piece that would go all the way across. Uh, we went ahead and took half inch clips and clipped all the way across the top, and we uh, clipped mostly uh, along the sides. Uh, we didn't have enough half inch clips uh, to do every one. So I'm gonna have to order some more half inch clips. We were doing our best to not tear the plastic and we needed to give it a little, uh, a little give. Now, um, one of the things that's gonna be a problem and you're thinking of already, any kind of uh, weight load on this and it's going to push things down because we don't have enough of a pitch for the snow to slide off. But if you remember, I said that I was gonna be taking a board and running from here up to here on both ends and then be running a board, uh, a center support board, all the way across the end with providing possibly uh, some supports in the middle. But uh, I think, again, if, if we've got enough of a slope on this and if the snow's gonna be really, really heavy, uh, I can keep an eye on it and come out and take care of this and try to keep this snow off. Um, but hey, again, uh, we'll learn. Uh, we'll uh, learn uh, because we've never done this before. Now, my wife and I had a little bit of a disagreement about how to pull this apart. And I don't mean a large disagreement. We had just a couple of opinions. I put two three-quarter inch uh, pipes on the bottom and we clipped those on. But then uh, she wanted, I wanted to gather it all together and then put the clips over. She put the uh, clips on and then wanted to gather everything together. I'm not sure how well this is gonna hold when we get our first really, really strong wind. We'll see. Uh, it, even if it pulls apart, we still have the clips underneath that that will hold everything down. We went ahead and took the three quarter inch clips all the way down on all of ours and we've got it secured there. So we've got the uh, row cover, the Agribond row cover secured with half inch clips on the inside. We have half inch on the half inch arches uh, on the outside we have three quarter now we watered this incredibly heavy and one of the things that's going to be difficult to do on a regular basis and a bit of a pain in the butt is watering things underneath here because this isn't going to act like a terrarium where it's going to get enough of its own water uh, or, or trap its own condensation and water itself uh, and so that's going to be part of the effort uh, we knew that. We were trying to think of ways in which we could creatively water the boxes with a PVC system that we could just maybe pull up the plastic in one area or from the end and, and work it down. Uh, but for now, um, we're just going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to come out because these clips are tough to get off. We're going to unclip from one side, probably this clip, that clip, and uh, um, we'll pull it up in sections. 
will water each box, pull it back down and clip it. Is it worth, is it worth it? Yes, we believe it's worth it. Plus again, there just comes, uh, there's just an aspect of satisfaction when you're doing these things yourself. So again, we made it work. Uh, it might've failed the first time around, uh, but hopefully this has got you thinking about how you might do something like this to extend your growing season through the year. And so let me just go ahead and encourage you to do this. If you haven't done so yet, uh, hit the like button for this video. And then if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, we would love for you to subscribe to the channel, then hit the little bell button off to the right hand side. That way, when we post a new video, you'll know when that comes out and you can watch it at your leisure. Uh, again, uh, this is all an online family. We're learning. Uh, we're glad you're along for the journey, learning uh, what might work, what might not work for you. Uh, learning from our failures so you don't have to make that failure and, and if you've got an idea that you think would benefit us please leave a comment in, in uh, the comment section below the video and again thanks for being along with us here at simple homesteading